Howdy folks. Right now I'm recording this video on my Samsung Galaxy S9. I don't have a good video camera, so my smartphone is actually the best I have. Today I'm going to show you how I designed and 3D printed this part right here in order to use my smartphone on a camera tripod that I had to record videos including this one that I'm recording right now. One of the best parts about having a 3D printer in my house is that it's really reawakened my inner MacGyver. I find that just being able to get jobs done using things you already have around the house really is a cool thing to do with your 3D printer. So I have a just, you saw the basic camera tripod, and this right here is a phone holder for your car it's broken uh, it's kind of nice it has rubber on the inside and spring loaded fits anything pretty much uh, has a ball and swivel mechanism on the back that at first i figured i could 3d print something to tie into that but then i realized if i just pull that out i can pretty much just use this like a stud and a nut to hold it to a thin panel on the 3D printed part that I have. So this is what I have to work with. I figured I could come up with something and this is what I came up with. It didn't take too much material. It took me three tries to get it right, to get it the way I wanted. Uh, I didn't have a quarter 20 nut to put in the bottom like every other tripod adapter I saw on Thingiverse. So I said what the heck, let's just use the whole function in Fusion 360 and put a quarter 20 hole in there. I went ahead and made the class a 1B just to allow for the lack of manufacturing tolerance. And I said, well, let's see what happens. All right, so just to give you an idea of how good this uh, threaded hole that is 3D printed works, I've got the tripod here. My phone's propped up on the window. I'm going to thread it in. And uh, it feels like just any other tap hole. Obviously, you can tell it's plastic, but I'm pulling at least 20 or 30 pounds. It's not coming off. And honestly, like, it's way stronger than anything would need to be to mount a camera. So I don't see any reason whatsoever why people are putting embedded quarter 20 holes in these. It's not the least bit stretched out. Threads still feel just fine. Now I just leave all this together as a whole assembly. Then when I'm ready to use it, it's really easy just to come up here with my phone. It pops right in. You use the tripod just like you would any other camera. I'm going to have to give myself an A on this project for honoring the spirit of MacGyver and using what I had to come up with a really good solution. It looks just like a normal assembly. If somebody walked up while I was using this, it would not at all look like there's some weird hacked part on the thing. So, uh, yeah, it has been working great. I've been using it for a few days. I'm putting links in the description to Thingiverse where you can download this file not only to 3D print but I'm also putting the source files from Fusion 360 so hopefully you can steal the bottom half and then maybe take the top half and adapt it to whatever you have to hold your phone or whatever it is because uh, I just want to share with other people so that all of you have a chance to put your phone on your tripod and capture the most epic moments of your life.